Hi, welcome to today's video. And in this video, we are going to be talking about what steps to take in order to ensure you get your tax refund in cash at the Lisbon International Airport in Portugal. So stay tuned and we're going to go over it step by step. So step one, do your homework. It is really critical to be organized and do your homework before you get to the airport. That will just save you a lot of time, a lot of stress, and you feel you are in control of the whole situation. Because believe me, once you get to the airport and you see a bunch of people in line and your, your flight is about to leave, there's nothing worse than being stressed and panic in the airport, you know, not wanting to miss your refund, but also not wanting to miss your flight. Okay, so first, uh, let's talk about what to do prior to arriving at the airport. So step one, do your homework. What you want to do is you want to organize your receipts. I cannot tell you how many times I've seen people opening bags with receipts just overflowing and very disorganized. It just helps yourself out, helps the people falling in line behind you out, and helps the person helping you at the counter out because um, there's nothing more frustrating than trying to get to your flight and a person in front of you with this organized receipts trying to hand all the receipts to the counter person. So organize your receipts. Uh, there are two major companies um, that do refund in Portugal, Global and Planet. So, uh, you know, what you want to do is you want to make two piles, the Global pile and the Planet pile, and put all of the stores with those receipts on one pile and then on the other. And then what you want to do is you want to sort out the receipts. Each receipt will usually have an amount of tax refund uh, that you're owed. So look for that amount write it down so you could list the name of the store and the amount that you have and you know do one for each store that you have and do the same thing for planet so by the end of it you will have a tally of how many receipts or stores and how much you are owed in total so you'll have a total for global and you will have a total for planet so i'm gonna kind of go over why that's important in a little bit but it's very important to do this stuff, okay? So, a tip. Um, now that you've tallied up all of the amounts and the number of stores or receipts that you have, um, each transaction, they will usually charge you about three to five euros for each receipt. So, you are not gonna get that full amount on the receipt back. What you wanna do is, say you have five stores that you have receipts for and whatever total amount, uh, multiply five by three euros or five euros. So say if you want to, you know, um, overestimate a little bit, you want to multiply five euros by five stores. So that's about 25 euros and deduct 25 from the total amount of refund that you're going to get back. That will give you a pretty good estimate of how much cash you're going to get back. You could do the same thing for Planet as well. Um, so that way, uh, when you get your money at the counter, uh, you know already how much you're going to be receiving and you can quickly see if it's right or not and you don't have to mess around with all the receipts. Step two, you want to organize the items that you've bought. So um, I personally didn't know that um, the customs in Portugal is quite strict. Um, I only realized it because one of the ladies um, at the store that I was purchasing a product was actually kind enough to say make sure when you go to the airport you have the item with you because they might check so then i actually went back to the hotel and googled it to try and look for information but i didn't really see very detailed instructions on how to go about getting the refund and this is why i'm making this video so hopefully i can help you out so you don't have to stress about it and you can have clear instructions on what to do and how to prepare for it so that you don't have to worry about not being able to get your money back so um, in short, they want to be able to check and see the items. So if you have a few items that you're gonna just, you know, be able to put in your carry-on, then that's great. Just make sure all of them are you know, on your person in your carry-on. Um, if not, try to organize all of them in one checked-in luggage. I know this is a little scary and risky because, you know, I know what you're thinking. You don't wanna, you know, knock on wood. If a luggage gets lost, you don't want to lose all of it in one luggage. But 
it will just save you a lot of time and headache because they will ask you to open your luggage up and check it. So um, what you want to do is you want to organize all of your items in one check-in. So you could probably split it. You could do one, uh, some of them in your carry-on, the ones that are more expensive that you don't want to lose, and some on your check-in and keep them all in one check-in if possible. So that way you can, you're only going to carry around one check-in luggage to, to show the customs officer. Okay, so step three, the day of your flight. Please, just don't stress yourself out. Give yourself plenty of time and arrive at the airport early. We had an early flight, so we had to be there at the airport really early, and I thought, oh, you know, we've given ourselves plenty of time by arriving at the airport three hours early um, because there's not gonna be a lineup. And boy, was I wrong. Lisbon International Airport is very busy and you just don't want to risk not having enough time to go through all the steps. Um, so I would encourage you to just plan ahead, make sure you arrive at the airport three to four hours early. That way, if the lines are long, especially during rush hour peak times, you're not going to be stressed out while you're going through this whole process. Next step. When you arrive at the airport, you're going to go check in, drop off your luggage, um, and get your boarding pass. When you're at the counter, tell the agent that you have items that you need to claim tax refund for. Um, they will usually ask you where they've placed it, uh, like, like we've mentioned previously, if it's in your carry-on or if it's in your check luggage. If it's all in one check luggage, they will tell you to keep that check luggage, they will tag it, and they will have you hold on to it while they check in the rest of your other luggage. So this is where it's easier. That way you don't have to carry all of your check luggage just up to the fourth floor with you. You can just carry one check luggage with you because it's, it's, it's not very close by. You actually, there are actually no clear directions and instructions in the airport where to go. So we actually had to ask people, ask around um, and have them point to us where to go. So um, the, the check-in counters are usually at the main floor. You'll usually have to find your way to an elevator and go up to the fourth floor. And once you get out of the fourth floor, you will, it's pretty easy to spot because there's a pretty big lineup of people and there will be, you know, a sign that says tax refund and customs. And basically you're going to head towards that direction and line up together with the rest of the people. So again, um, it's just much easier to move around when you have one luggage as opposed to two or three or four luggages. Um, so just try to organize everything ahead of time. Now you finally reach the customs counter. Don't be nervous if the line is long. Um, it honestly, it really depends on luck. Uh, I've seen it where there's no person in line and a ton of people in line. And that's why it's important to give yourself plenty of time. So once you get to the line, um, obviously you're gonna line up behind you know, the rest of the people. Um, there is a, a kiosk, like a computer kiosk, where it will ask you to scan your passport or receipts and it will pull up all the stuff that you purchase. Um, it will generally ask you questions like, do you have it with you as a hand carry or check-in? Um, so basically, if you have it as a hand carry, normally they will instruct you to go through security and go up another floor. There is a separate counter for customs um, for hand carry uh, luggage. And for that line, it will ask you to stay in the line and, and talk to the customs officer if you have it in, you know, um, in your checked luggage. So basically, um, you know, for most people, they probably have it in their checked luggage, so you stay in the line and then you wait your turn. Once you get to the customs officer, you present all of your receipts to them. Uh, they will ask to check your luggage. Um, in our case, they had us open the luggage, uh, take a look at what's inside, and then they got the receipts. Um, at that time, I didn't know what they were doing, but what, they, what, they, what they're actually doing is that they're actually validating each of the receipts. So this is where it's important for you to know how many receipts you have so that you know how many you got back because you don't want to lose any of those receipts, right? So, um, so just keep track of how many receipts you have and if you got all of them back. So after that, you leave your luggage with them. Um, now that it's ready tagged, they will take it and then they will instruct you to go through security and then claim your tax refund upstairs uh, at the counter. And that's where you'll see the global or planet counter. Okay, so now you've finally gone through security and now you go upstairs, now you see the counters. You either see global or planet. 
So a couple things, um, you, for Planet, you could claim all refunds at the counter. For Global, the counter is actually reserved only for purchases that were made outside of Portugal but are claiming in Portugal. And Global actually has a separate electronic kiosk um, just a few meters away, and that's where you claim uh, purchases made in Portugal. So, um, you know, I made a mistake of lining up the counter, which wasted quite a bit of time because by the time I got to the officer, I was told that actually this is not the correct line. I was supposed to go at the electronic kiosk because the receipts I have were all purchases made in Portugal. So, um, you know, just save yourself some time. Uh, if, if you want, fall in line. If you have both Planet and Global, fall in line with the Planet first. Uh, make sure you get that done. And then, then you can go to the kiosk um, for Global. So, big sigh of relief. You are finally at the counter and it's your turn. Um, they will usually go over how many receipts you have and how much your total refund is. So again, this is where your doing your homework really helps. Because in, in my case, the customs officer actually missed validating a receipt. So when I, when I was um, getting my refund, they told me I only had X number of receipts even though it wasn't the correct amount. So the officer had to actually sift through all the receipts to figure out which one was missing. So, you know, that's why if you have that list, it's very easy to spot which one. And then when he figured out which one was the receipt, the officer realized that the customs officer actually missed validating one of the receipts. So then what he had to do was he had to bring the receipt or have me follow him and you know, he brought the receipt with him and cut through the line to go to the customs desk and have them validate the receipt so that I could claim the refund. So, you know, that was really stressful because the lineups are really long. So if I had to fall in line again to get through all of that, I don't think I would have had enough time to do all that over again. So fortunately, the, the, the officer was nice enough to help me cut through the line and had the officer validate it and go back to claim the refund. So then I didn't have to fall in line again, you know, for the fourth time. But basically, um, having the number of receipts and the number of refund is just really extremely helpful because when you get your refund, you already have an estimated amount of how much you're gonna get and how many receipts you have. And that way, uh, it's pretty easy. You get your money and then you just head to your gate. So that's it for this video. I hope you found value in this video and this video has helped you in some way. So please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And please share to friends and family who are traveling to Portugal if they need any instructions on how to claim their tax refund. Um, as I've mentioned, whether through blog posts or video, I didn't really find a whole lot of information detailing the steps on how to get your tax refund back. So I thought about making this video to help everyone out there who's going through the same thing. Um, I felt extremely stressed when I was, I mean, traveling as it is is already stressful. And when you're trying to pack, trying to make sure you don't forget anything, you're trying to plan things, it just really helps when you know what you're getting yourself into and what you're gonna be doing when you arrive at the airport because that unknown can really stress you out. I know it did for me and I didn't sleep very well the night before our flight just because I was so stressed out. I wasn't sure if we we're gonna be able to make it or if we we're gonna have enough time to get through all the things that we need to do to get the money back. So again, please like and subscribe and um, you know, feel free to send comments if you have any questions. And if you have any suggestions on other videos that you want um, tips for as well, please feel free to drop a comment down below. So thank you and we'll see you next time.